when you actually go to locals and try to pull a pasla and you're just like, oh, yeah, but you low key big brain it because you know this is a cute little side deck card for all the Sky Striker homies out there who understand because Ender Shizuku with this is pretty cute. So, welcome to Marco Watch, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be crying ourselves to sleep as we debate to buy a prismatic. German god bow because that's just the kind of person we are. Well, let's pass it on over to Marco Watch so you guys don't have to listen to my terrible investments. Welcome to Market Watch. It is day one of Rising Rampage, and well, ooh, we're doing pretty good out here. So, Pulsla, Bow of the Goddess, Prismatic Secret Rare down to 390. We're affordable now. Storm Dragon's Return. 345. Ugh. No thank you. Wind is down to 190. And the Marin Ho Seahorse is down to 193. Alright, that's pretty okay. Apostles have already dropped down to 57, essentially. Okay, that's acceptable. Get Out's down to 15. Fortune Lady Every down to 12. Marin says Coral Enamine at 17. Okay. Marin says Marbled Rock at 14. Now, to answer the question, should you be walking in and getting your Marincess stuff today? Um, I would consider it sometime over this weekend to Monday. Because, uh, honestly, there are a lot of secret rares for that. And with so many people not wanting to pick up this set right now, because it's a quote-unquote failure um, to certain players, I just get in there, get what you want early, and call it a day because... These prices are going to go up. Blue Slug, five bucks. Okay. Cap Shell. Cap Shell's three bucks. That might be a solid pickup, actually. Romulus is also five today. So, what I'm getting out of this set, grab what you want early before prices do go up. Uh, this set could break the mold and it could go down lower, but we'll have to wait and see. Marin says Waves. Pretty cheap, too, for Ultras. So, also $1.47s on X charges. So. I don't know. That's that's my two cents where I stand on this set. Moving on along. The Gift of Greed. Did you guys know that this is a... Uh, I don't know if this is a meme or what, but uh, this card literally says, let your opponent draw two cards. Literally, your opponent draws two cards from your deck. Look at this. Five bucks. Why is this five dollars? I'm not going to know. I'll be honest with you, but it is that much, and that's disgusting. Ronin Totens. Seven bucks. Commons, essentially two bucks post-shipping. Okay. Uh, Emmer's Blades. Ooh. Or uh, X Saber stuff in general is kind of creeping back up at the moment. I don't know what's going on with this. Um, I guess just the the times people think that X Sabers are due for some upgrades. Ten bucks. I mean, this and Kawakuri just haven't been touched. I don't know why. See, twenty two bucks for first eds of these. Ugh. Like, no thank you. Dark Soul Ultimate Rares. Hmm. We've been kind of tracking the majority of this stuff for a little bit, and I will say that uh, this is pretty ridiculous. Uh, light plays for 15s, okay. I guess that's acceptable. It's not good, but like, we're getting better. 30s on those, ugh. Swap Frogs, literally 87 bucks and then up to 92. Why are these going up so high? Uh, regular Swap Frogs, 3 bucks, okay. Dragon Ravine's currently at uh, fives for the Secret Rares. Super's coming in, it looks like four to five as well. All right, that's acceptable. Dynamiscus is at fours. Candina's, well, I guess Candina's are four bucks now. Morella's hitting two bucks. Oh boy, Tribute Lanius. He's still ten bucks. This never changes, by the way. Every single time I look at this card, still worth money. Every time. Card ejectors, uh, we're still like 22 cents all across the board. So adorable. This card could have been so much better. Charcoal and Pachi today. Huh. Let me guess. Some super $15 mark, as per usual. Never really changes ever. Oh. Nope. Yup. Still 15 bucks. No thank you. I hate it so much. Why is this garbage so much money? Crack Lacken's cracking at eh, essentially 5 bucks again. Uh, Carbon Ganons are at 3 to 4. Kind of pay attention to these a little bit because these are only going to continue to move up. 
Uh, there can only be ones got bought out earlier in the week. Um, we're literally sitting at essentially five bucks on these now. Thanks, Drew Draco. Uh, Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Rare. Super expensive, let me guess. 194.50 as per always. Like light play 110. All right, cool. So we've crept down a little bit. Near mint 194.99. Ugh. Battles of Legend Boral Sword 35 bucks. Soldier of Chaos 29. Engages 17. Hmm. Al Mirage is down to 12. So those tank. Same thing with those. Lamb does it sixes. Uh, Forest and increase basically four to five. Prankatops at five. Do pay attention to Prankatops. Definitely pay attention to Prankatops. This brings up a uh, another really interesting one. Uh, evidently, Secret Rare Twin Twisters got bought out a while back. Oh, still solid seven bucks on these. Yeah, so yeah, these did go up. Cool seven bucks on those. Totally awesomes. Fourteen, fifteen across the board, depending on the copies that you want to acquire. Thunder Dragon Colossus Altis, thirty nine bucks. Thunder Dragon Colossus twenties. Dragon Darks at twelves. Ugh. Dragon Roar still at sevens. Yeah. Still some decent money back here left in this. Into the Void, first edition. What is this from? The Shining Darkness? This is also the set with, uh... Yeah, the Shining Darkness. Yeah, this is also the set that has our, uh... Fantastic and Infinity support. 30 bucks for these things. No, thank you. Infinite Imperms, uh, 44 on Unlimbs. Ultras at 38. We're reversing course. Back up we go. B-Cops are now $5 a piece. Wow. All right. Emergency calls, fifteen bucks, four bucks, five bucks for commons. By the way, just want to let you guys know, four bucks, all copies minimum, four bucks. Uh, Hidden cities, uh, we're currently sitting at yield twenty-seven, but you can buy a Spanish copy for twenty-five. Huh. Pot of extravagance, still seventy-two dollar card. Hope you picked yours up when they were cheap. Dark Lord X Chills, same thing every week I say this. Do kind of pay attention to the Destiny Soldiers. Nice little collector's buyout. Naturia Cherries, is this card really still $8? <sighs> cherries is still $8. Yup, I guess. Crash Card Virus, Gold Rare, and. I guess. Damn, rare, old rares are 2 bucks. That's kind of. eh. Um, alright. What's going on with these? These are always a solid buyout. 32 for light play gold. 38 on these. Wow, alright. French crush card. This is actually look like for 28 bucks. You ever want to play goat? The virus borrowed vide carte. 28 bucks, it's not bad. Huh, alright. Dark Lord Amdusk. Oh, these are solid two bucks. That's interesting. I didn't actually realize that. All right. Hmm. Dark Lord stuff always kind of worth money. Malakota. Why are we buying out Malakota? Why? Why are we doing this? Really, twenty-one for light play. Thirty-one. Why? I'm kind of giving up on this card. Like, I don't know why we're buying out Malakota, to be honest with you guys. Stratos is down to 58, and those Shonen Jump magazines we were talking about a while back, the reprint ones, back up to 38 bucks. Huh. Barrel Store Commons, though, at 15s. Ojama Kingu. Well, for the memes, I guess. <laughs> First said French for $60. I'm going to click this and laugh. Because, uh, this... I see we have Germans for 350s. 400 for English, near mint. No thanks, meta. Uh, Gamma Seals, coming in at, uh, 7 bucks on these. Regular Turtles at 5s. Okay. I guess that's okay. Uh, Dragon Rulers. Tempest is now a solid $5 card. Meanwhile, Blast Raccoon... Falling up in ranks at four regular Tempest at threes. These really didn't tank up as much as I thought they would post market. Vandy's Ruler. Hmm. The super expensive of expensives. Uh, just because you want to bling out your Necroz deck, because you can search this off of uh, Ben 10. Light plays 33s. Okay. 
Hmm, 52 lowest. That's so dumb. Upstar Goblins, 50 bucks for supers. All right, never really ends, does it? Uh, all Lions right now are solid five bucks as well. Uh, this card definitely needs a reprint. Just kind of pay attention to this a little bit going forward. Um, this is just kind of one of those other cards that you question mark just out of curiosity. Globe Bulb, hmm, $49. All right. Uh, go go the gallant ninja. I believe that this was just kind of requested out of uh, interest. Uh, three bucks for first dead light play. Uh, let me guess. There's just no near mints on the market. Near mint for eight. Okay. Card of demise. Six bucks. Five bucks. Four to five. Okay. Odd eyes vortex dragon. It also looks like these are getting bought out right now. Huh. 22, and then we're up to 25 for first. Okay. Uh, scrap cards. 13 on our boy. Uh, scrap Orthros. 8 bucks on light play. Scrap Recycler. <sighs> Every time I look at this card, I'm just like, hmm. Here we go again. This card really needs a reprint. 8 bucks there for light play. First. Um... Yeah, ten bucks still. Metabat. Ooh. So many unlim metabats. So many unlim metabats. Why? Cool, let me guess. There's just not a first dead on the market. Cool. Fifty four cents with uh shipping. Okay. Whatever. Uh Spiral Big Red, still like five bucks. Double Helix still twos. Alright. That's pretty A okay. Uh, Spiral Master Plan down here at oh, 23 cents plus shipping. Super Galaxy Destroyer. Uh, Galaxy Destroyer is solid 9 bucks still. Okay. Uh, Ignis is. Uh, we've touched $20, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, we've touched $20 on the True Draco hype. Yikes. Fortune Ladies, just in general, still like 3 bucks. Like. I'm going to say this about the Fortune Lady stuff. The stuff's getting the reprint right around the corner. Just be patient. Uh, Effect Veiler Ultimate Rares. Now, these have been going terminally crazy. Um, especially on the foreign market, these cards are so expensive. Light Play 180, Near Mint $300 for first set Effect Veilers. Max C, 164 today. <laughs> Never changes. Norton's at 56 cents, as per always. Sky Striker Hayate's down to 29s. Shizuku's at 35s for Altis. Engages from old 22. Kigari is also holding at uh, 25, it looks like. All right. No real change there. Elemental Hero Neos Knight Ultimate Rare. First edition. All right, well, first up, my boy Neos Knight, you need to calm down on the secondary, like... 23s on those. Okay, that's fine. Urgent schedule, still $16 card. Yeah, $16.17. Uh, Super Express Bullet Train, still $4.5. Okay. Mystical Shine Balls? Uh, well, Super Air should still be like 2 bucks, I would assume. This never really changes. I'm seeing 2 bucks here. Yeah, 2 to 3. Um... Venus coming in at yield two dollars as well. Okay, Gate Zero's officially hit the five dollar mark. By the way, yeah, this this really caught me off guard. I don't know what's going on here, but yeah, we've done it. And then Servant of Endymion also hit the four dollar mark. Mm-hmm. Good times. Atlantean Dragoons at seventy-seven dollars. Marksman's at thirty-four. Those went up. Harpy Perfumer, twenty-four dollars today. Test Tiger Ultimate Light Play, $75 for first edition. What? <laughs> Near Mint's 85 No thank you. Cosmo Stuff, 18 bucks. Mojo's at 8 Okay, pretty standard. Phantasmi's down to 80 and still holding. All right. Ultimate Allure of Darkness. This market watch is gruelingly long. We're not even close to being done. I love it. Robbie, please check out these bad cards. Okay. Uh, 69. 
<laughs> 69. First at 120. No thanks. Dipicus Atticus. Uh, 10 cents on Jewels of the Volume. Dark Rebellion Ghost Rare. I see 28 bucks here, but uh, that... First at 35. No thank you. Harpy Queen Ultimate Rare. Hmm. Who doesn't love their Harpy cards? <laughs> Tis not I. Oh, man. $104. Dibigus Atticus. Ooh, Dragon Shrine Maiden. Time altering. Ooh, 15 bucks. Regular Dragon Shrines. $6, by the way. Ugh. So much money in those. Number 60. A solid dollar eight seventy eight for ship post shipping. Russell quizzes and then change like fifty cents. White mare eight bucks looks like there. Skull servants four bucks. Draco nut starfoils still sevens regular copies at fours. Those really went up. Ugh. Dinos in general still very cheap. You could pick up this whole deck core for nothing honestly. Um, Sign up minings we're still at thirty three. That's good. Glee 4 Monolith still six bucks, uh, but stealths though it's sevens and bought out nines on regular stealths, and we also bought out Helix. What? Why? Barca DTs also down to thirty eight and twenty five. Okay. Um, Terra Tops at twenty three for light play. Takum Tumborg's creeping on up at the four dollar mark, and Artifact Sanctums. All copies are still ten bucks. That's all I got for Market Watch today, guys. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about the market. And, well, guys, catch you on the flip side. Peace out. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a triple shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancol40 for some awesome Vanguard content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.